Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to watch a small incision cataract surgery where the size of the wound is 5 millimeter. In this case, I have not applied superior rectus brittle suture. A side port has been made at 9 o'clock, conjunctival peritomy has been done. Now I stain the anterior capsule of the cataract with tripan blue dye. In this case, the cataract is soft, the nucleus is soft, there is posterior subcapsular cataract. And now, the antechamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. I take a cautery and do mild bipolar cautery before making the incision. This is a small uh, peritomy for about one and a half clock hours and this is the incision, almost straight incision, very mild frown incision and now this is a crescent blade to make the sclerocorneal tunnel. The tunnel goes into clear cornea for about 1.5 millimeter. In this case, I made the incision small because the cataract is very soft and the nucleus can be easily broken in the tunnel. This intra tunnel fracture of the nucleus has been widely described by Dr. Sudhir Singh of Global Eye Hospital at Mount Abu, India. So, in this case, I am sure the nucleus will break in the sclerocorneal tunnel because the size of the tunnel is small about 5 millimeter and the nucleus size is more than that. Now, I am doing the rexis with a cystitone through the side port and the size of this rexis is about 6 millimeter. In SICS, the size of the rexis should be such that the nucleus should prolapse easily out of the capsular bag into the anterior chamber. And now the keratome goes to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and the tunnel is opened. The cut is made when the keratome goes forward. And now hydrodissection is done, very gently hydrodissection is done and see what happens. The nucleus prolapses out of the capsular bag because the rexis was large. Now we can see that the nucleus is quite big, about 7 millimeter in size, where the wound is only 5 millimeter. So, the nucleus has to break in the tunnel and I will make several attempts to remove the broken pieces. And now I take um, irrigating vectus and I do not have a superiectus brittle suture, so I use the tooth forceps and this is one piece of the nucleus has come out. I use visco, orient the 
nucleus in this way, apply visco in front of the nucleus also and again go in and the nucleus again breaks in the tunnel. Again it breaks. So, three fragments have come out and only one small fragment of the nucleus is still there. So, inject some more visco and this is the last portion of the nucleus and it comes out easily. So, we have removed the nucleus by intra tunnel phaco fracture technique described widely by Dr. Sudhir Singh of Global Eye Hospital, Mount Tabu. This is aspiration of the cortex. Let me see if I can remove all the cortex through the sideboard. If we remove the cortex through the sideboard, the the antechamber remains deep and the chance of touching the corneal endothelium is remote. So, the cortex has been removed and now in this case my plan is to implant a hydrophilic foldable intraocular lens. Many colleagues may ask why I am doing SICS in this case. Okay, there are several reasons. The patient cannot afford the price of cost of phaco surgery, those uh, posterior subcapsular cataract could be PPC also. So, in such cases, SICS is very safe in uh, it, when we suspect posterior polar cataract. Yes, the nucleus has gone into the capsular bag and now I have to remove the visco nicely. This is the first irrigation and aspiration. First I irrigate for some time. Now I am irrigating the capsular bag, again the irrigating the anterior chamber. So, this is one step one. I will take several steps to clean all the visco from the antechamber. This is again irrigation and aspiration. First irrigation, again irrigation of the capsular bag. This is almost unedited surgery. So, the you are not missing anything and the surgery is should be very useful for those surgeons who want to do SICS. Now, this is beta moxifloxacin. Let us see the size of the wound. This is 5 millimeter. one end to the other end. The inner opening may be 6 or 6.5, but the outer opening is 5 millimeter. Both the lips of the wound are nicely opposed. I am not going to suture the main wound, but I want to oppose the conjunctiva by a releasable suture. And this is how we put releasable suture. Before tying the releasable suture, I want to do a final lavage of the anterior chamber, irrigation and aspiration and then I form the anterior chamber and nicely in this way. And now, I take the gentamicin and dexamethasone and give this injection here, so that there is conjunctival chemosis 
and the conjunctiva comes forward. And now, I, I tie the suture to make it a releasable suture, we take three loops, hold and pull, that is it. And now, we cut the threads, if we pull the longer thread, it will come out, it should be like that and the case is done. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.